In the gritty underworld of Birmingham, the echoes of a chilling murder reverberate through the streets, unveiling a tale of vendettas and power struggles. This story takes us back to 2004, when former kickboxing champion Asmat Yacoub, also known on the streets of Birmingham as Tony, lay dead on the floor of the Spark Hill gym. One of the strangers had pulled out a machine gun and opened fire at close range, repeatedly hitting Mr Yacoub in the head and chest. Till this day, no one has been convicted for the murder that unfolded in a grim execution-style killing. As detectives delved into the shadows, rumours emerged that the hitmen responsible might have been hired by enraged drug dealers. Tony's unwavering anti-drug stance, coupled with his confrontations with local dealers, painted a target on his back. Tenacious and formidable, Tony's journey from troubled youth to a born-again Muslim and kickboxing mentor earned him the nickname Tony the Lion. His anti-drug crusade, however, angered major drug suppliers, escalating tensions within the criminal underbelly. At the heart of this sinister narrative was Tony Asmat, a well-respected and well-known figure in Birmingham at the time. His stature in the community, coupled with his transformation from a troubled youth to a mentor and kickboxing champion, cast a long shadow over the city's criminal landscape. The plot thickens with Tony surviving a previous attack that claimed his best friend's life. A clash between factions at Birmingham Central Mosque hinted at a larger web of intrigue, involving secret marriages, affairs, and a drive-by shooting that tied back to the mosque's former imam. Rumours circulating in the streets pointed fingers at a figure known as the General, Muhammad Suleiman Khan, a notorious Birmingham tax fraudster with a mysterious aura. The General was not just a name. He was a force to be reckoned with. Known for extorting local businesses, the general commanded respect and fear in the underworld, making him a powerful figure. Reports suggested a connection to a Liverpool gangland figure named Jason Fitzgibbon, believed to have supplied the hitmen from Netherlands or Amsterdam. The general's extensive network and alliances added layers of complexity to the unfolding drama. As the investigators delved deeper, shocking revelations surfaced. It appeared that the general, unsatisfied with merely intimidating Tony, sought a more menacing solution. Whispers on the streets spoke of clandestine meetings and a dark alliance formed to unleash retribution upon Tony. The general, with his connections, allegedly hired a shadowy figure known only as the Ghost. The Ghost, a ruthless and enigmatic assassin, became the instrument of the general's vendetta. Known for leaving no trace, the ghost operated in the shadows, executing orders with clinical precision. The chilling prospect of this silent assassin haunting the city added a layer of fear to the unfolding drama. Amidst the chaos, the general faced scrutiny from law enforcement. Police questioned him in connection to Tony's murder, but he was never convicted. Records revealed that at the time of the gunman's deadly act in 2004, the general was in Pakistan creating an alibi that shielded him from legal consequences. In a shocking turn of events, it was disclosed that the general had served his time in jail and emerged as a freeman. The very individual suspected of orchestrating Tony's demise was now back on the streets, adding a new chapter to the city's dark saga. Notorious for his extravagant ways, the general had constructed a Buckingham Palace in Pakistan, a lavish structure that cost him over two million pounds. This grandiose display of wealth fueled the rumours surrounding his influence and connections. As the city whispered tales of Tony's demise, the detectives sought the occupants of a light-coloured BMW spotted fleeing the murder scene. The lone gunman described as white and in his late twenties and his black accomplice wore the guise of shadows in a city engulfed by crime. In this web of betrayal, power and retribution, the legacy of Tony the Lion lingers. A cautionary tale, echoing through the dimly lit streets of Birmingham's underworld. The General's alliance with the ghost adds a layer of darkness, leaving the city on edge, wondering when the next move in this deadly game will be made. The streets haunted by shadows hold the secrets of a vendetta that transcends the boundaries of the criminal underworld. Until this day, justice remains elusive. For more gritty stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.